A prominent regional leader is speaking out on a very important issue. Former Prime Minister of Jamaica PJ Patterson is voicing his discontent with British Prime Minister David Cameron's failure to address the issue of reparations during his visit to Jamaica last week. It took 14 years for a sitting UK Prime Minister to visit Jamaican shores and most significant was his reassurance that Britain still considers the Caribbean region. During his visit to Jamaica, Mr. Cameron pledged his support for the region's health care and infrastructure. But it seems the most important issue the region wanted David Cameron to address was reparation. However, after holding bilateral talks with Jamaica's Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller and addressing a special joint sitting of Parliament, this was all Prime Minister Cameron was prepared to offer on the issue, and it wasn't an apology. Slavery was and is abhorrent in all its forms. It has no place. It has no place whatsoever in any civilized society, and Britain is proud to have eventually led the way in its abolition. That the Caribbean has emerged from the long dark shadow that it cast is testament to the resilience and spirit of its people. I acknowledge that these wounds run very deep indeed, but I do hope that as friends who have gone through so much together since those darkest of times, we can move on from this painful legacy and continue to build for the future. That sentiment has irked many Jamaicans and so too former Prime Minister PJ Patterson. In an open letter to the British leader, Mr. Patterson took the UK leader to task for failing to adequately respond to a matter that's been reverberating through the region. He wrote, to speak of slavery as something from the Middle Ages is insufficient. For our communities, its legacies are still present in their memory and emotions. Mere acknowledgement of its horror will not suffice. It was, and still is, a most heinous crime against humanity, a stain which cannot be removed merely by the passage of time. In his no-holds-barred open letter, Mr. Patterson said the gifts presented by the UK leader while on his visit to Jamaica was well appreciated, but he says that cannot expunge the psychological blows inflicted for centuries by slavery. Mr. Patterson penned, you have refused to apologize, yet your government has apologized to everyone else for horrid crimes. Are we not worthy of an apology or less deserving? The former Jamaican Prime Minister continued, Contrary to your view, the Caribbean people will never emerge completely from the long dark shadow of slavery until there is a full confession of guilt by those who committed this evil atrocity. In responding to Cameron's pronouncement that the region should move on, Patterson asserted, The Caribbean people have long been looking to the future. This is what we do in our development visions. But these legacies are like millstones around our necks. We look to the reparatory justice as the beginning of shaping a new future. In closing his letter to Mr. Cameron, he said, We invite Britain to engage in removing this blot on human civilization so that together we can create a new and secure future.